Hi, everybody. Pam Friedman, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst. Uh, financiallyfitdivorce.com is where you can find more information. These are our 30 tips in 30 days. Today, we're going to talk about the different processes of divorce. Even though I'm not a lawyer, I can kind of generally talk about the different processes. We have collaborative divorce where everyone gets in a room, your, your attorney, your spouse's attorney. There's usually a, a neutral financial professional and a neutral mental health professional. You work out uh, find a workable solution that's ne not necessarily under the legal paradigm. Of course, there's a court litigated case, which is all under the legal paradigm, but most of you will at least attempt a mediation. And a mediation is where you and your spouse, with the help of a mediator, decide what's workable for you. So how is that going to go down? You're going to go, a lot of times it's done, it's in caucus where you're kept in separate rooms that may or may not work for you. You may have to have a conversation with your attorney or your mediator, whether that works for you. But a lot of times it's done in caucus where you're in separate rooms and the mediator is going back and forth and trying to resolve issues between the two of you. What is it that you want to accomplish in mediation? You want to be prepared for that process. You want to have already talked to your CPA, your CDFA, that you know what the financial picture is, that you know what you want, and know that you may not get everything that you want and be flexible enough to move forward in the process. The most important thing you need to be to remember about mediation is that what is decided in mediation, and when you sign, that's irrevocable. You cannot take that back. So make sure all of your assets are considered, that you understand what you're signing before you sign it. If mediation doesn't work, there can be a second mediation, or you're looking at going to court and just stepping your tiny pinky toe into court is at least ten to fifteen thousand dollars of cost. So that encourages people to make decisions during their mediation, but those decisions are permanent. You cannot go back. So what does that mean for you? It means that you need to really be comfortable with what's decided in that process. So this is Pam Friedman, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst with financiallyfitdivorce.com. And we will see you back here in the next 30 tips in 30 days.